Hello Explorers, I am Azure Destroyer. Today we are going to see the C++ implementation of Visioneer and Gronsfeld Cypher. So let's start. I had already written the necessary header files which will actually be useful for writing the whole piece of code. So now let me write the int main function. Now inside the int main function as you can see I had first of all created one string variable of the name of pt and then I had taken the plain text from the user as input and stored it inside the pt string variable. And in the next line I had invoked the make tableau function which is going to make the tableau or the two dimensional character array. And then in the next line I had invoked the make keyword function which is actually taking one parameter that is the length of the pt string variable and it is going to make the keyword. And in the next four lines, I actually invoked the encrypt function and taken the return value inside the encpt string variable and printed the encrypted text. And in the last two lines, I had actually done the similar thing for the decrypted text. So now let us declare the global variables. First of all, we are going to declare the two dimensional character variable of the name of tableau. And then we are going to declare the 1D character variable that is the key and also finally we are going to declare an empty string variable named keyword. Now after the declarations let us write the function definitions for the four main functions. The first one is going to be the make tableau function. Now after writing the function definition for make tableau function, let me write the function definition for make keyword function. Now again if you want the full description as well as the relevant details about this cipher and the basic terminologies which we follow in encryption as well as decryption in this type of cipher then you can refer to my Java video on Visionaire and Gronsfeld cipher which is already there in my channel. You can check that out. For now I am going to write the function definition for make keyword function. So we are written the function definition for the make keyword function as well. So let's move on for now. So now let me write the function definition for the encrypt function. This function is basically going to return a string variable. So the return type will be string. And also it is going to take one input that is the string variable pt. Now after writing the encrypt function, let me explain the functionalities a little bit. So basically what the encrypt function will actually do, it is basically going to convert the plain text string variable into its character string equivalent which is pt char. And also we are going to do the same thing for the keyword string as well where its character equivalent will be known as kwcar. And after that conversion basically we are doing this conversion for our own benefit and so that we can individually access the characters which we have inside this string variables. And later we are going to run a for loop which is going to run as many number of times as the number of characters which we have inside the pt string variable. And what we are actually going to do inside the for loop is that we are actually going to store the row index position value as well as the column value. For the row value we are actually going to store the index values for the keyword characters and for the column values we are actually going to store the index values for the characters present inside the ptcar character string. 
and after storing the row and column values we are actually going to map the row and column values with the two dimensional character array that is tableau and basically we will get one character here and after getting the character we are basically interested in converting the character to its string equivalent because that's how we are going to actually join the smallest string variable with the encpt string variable which was initially empty and after the end of the for loop that is after the completion of all the necessary iterations we are actually going to return the encpt string variable so that's how we are actually going to make use of the encrypt function in our main driver code and now at last let me write the function definition for the decrypt function as well it is also going to return a string variable so the return type will be string then the function name and it is also going to take one input of type string that is the encrypt string variable now this decrypt function is also going to do a very similar thing as we are done in the encrypt function but instead of storing the row value as well as the column value here we are only interested in storing the column value because the row value we can actually get by following a systematic rule or set of procedures first of all for each of the characters or for each of the iterations which is actually determined by the number of characters which we have inside the encpt string variable we are actually going to store the ascii equivalent of the character for each of the characters which we have inside the kw char string variable and then subtract 65 so as to get the row equivalent or the row index and for each of the row index we are going to search each and every column and if we encounter any character resembling the character which we have inside the encpt char character string then we are going to stop there only and convert the character into the string equivalent and join it with the dcpt string variable and then we can break the inner for loop and after the completion of the outer for loop we are going to return the dcpt string variable so that's how we are going to make use of the decryption function in our main piece of code so now let me run the code so as you can see we have got zero errors as well as zero warnings so as you can see we have got the encrypted text as well as the decrypted text so finally we had accomplished our mission so that's all from this video guys i hope you really enjoy this video if you enjoy this video then you can give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for further interesting and thrilling updates now i will be back with some other video some other cipher or some other interesting topic in my next video until then keep exploring